earth and it's not even on their conscience when they claim or when they perceive that the Bible is talking about them every time at least in the New Testament every time it talks about Israelites and their salvation and being brought back to the land and also heads up all those Old Testament books and prophecies and prophets most of those things haven't happened yet and you won't even realize that unless you realize who Israelites truly really are and <clears throat> hopefully you can get some knowledge and understanding for, from them because who knows them better better than themselves and who can understand the Bible better than them? No one. Because, for one, who was the Bible written by? Them. Who was it written for? Them. The Bible doesn't belong to all of us. It belongs to them. And who are they? They're the, they're the black people. Alright, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Prash, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Walk, walk, the learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another video through the Spirit. And for this one, based off a video that came out, you know, a minute ago, I believe last week and some change. But the Elder Apostle Tahar, uh, he did a video uh, yesterday and he made a good point, which linked it up. Uh, and he had even reposted it, which I, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I got the picture of it. I'm a put up the screenshot of it and leave the link but you had a guy who appeared to be an Edomite in the picture he's saying look y'all we can't tell he's like look the Bible's for the Hebrew Israelites the so-called Negroes you know they're the and you know I, I can't fully remember if he said the Latinos and Native Americans as well but he admitted that we're the Israelites but he says look this is their book only they can truly understand it we can't tell them <laughs> what to do with it and that's that's a that's a, a hey look if he's not a jake and he's a heathen then that's that's respectable i can i can respect him man to man him being able to say that out of his mouth i can i can respect him on that level and that's just true because why the the keys all right the keys to the kingdom were given to david and who is david the head of the tabernacle all right of david and what are the elect a part of the tabernacle of david we have the keys to the kingdom lord will and i you fellow uh uh true believing brothers and sisters out there and our elders and apostles we have the keys to the kingdom which is the knowledge wisdom and understanding uh of these scriptures all right that per that that will lead on to salvation all right these other people you vocabs you scoffers these bishop bacons pastor pork chops y'all don't have the keys to the kingdom all right Especially you heathens, you can't you can't tell us what Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight means. You don't have the spirit. All right, so so let's get it. Let's get this. You can't tell us what Jeremiah fourteen, what is that and two means. You can't tell us what Revelation one and thirteen means. You're not an Israelite. You're not gonna get it. You don't have the same spirit that is put inside of us. And more importantly, you weren't deemed chosen. All right. We're going to go to, uh, what scripture is that? Second Edgers? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Second Edgers, where is it at? Is it 14? Oh, okay, no, uh, Sirach. I, I get them mixed up. Sirach chapter 3, verse 23. It says, Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for things are showed unto th for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. And you scoffers, especially vocab, you heathen that love to come up against us, and discredit us you know you'll go do your little uh gay wad <laughs> interviews sitting down with your books we'll see this you can when you look at the context this this explains why they simply can't no all right if you were smart you wouldn't be curious in unnecessary matters just mind your own non-israelite business all right go go uh eat a pig all right because the things that are showed unto us is greater than your than you can simply comprehend. Brothers have been given visions, all right, dreams. Brothers' wives, brothers' children. You don't. You people don't know what's going on. You simply do not possess the spirit, and which is required to receive salvation. So you can't tell us and interpret for us what we're looking at, all right, what we're reading, what we're uh, going into the Hebrew and the Greek to translate. You don't have the ability to understand it, all right. The word cosmos. All right, hey, you can't get that. That won't click up in your head that that term cosmos in the Greek isn't on a worldly general sense, but when you look at it on a smaller sense, all right, 
another word to prove that is microcosm, which comes from the Greek. Literally, uh, if I remember correctly, the word micro for in Greek is literally micros, M-I-K-R-O, M-I-K-R-O-S, and that cosm is cosmos, micros, cosmos, meaning a small, small world. You know, hey, they don't have the spirit to get it, and we've been show these things. All right, let's get this. Let's get this out of Daniel. All right, and these are some of the scriptures the apostle, the elder apostle Tar had mentioned as well. Hey, it's simply been revealed unto us. All right. And we'll be able to understand it. The wicked won't be able to understand it. Daniel 12 and 10, it says, Many shall be purified and many made white and tried. So the elect will be made white and tried and will understand. Or Salaki, yeah, will be made white and tried. But the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. And who are the wise? Let's get it. Who are the way? Hey, the wicked is you people. All right. You tares, you you non-Israelites, you non-chosen. Let's look at who uh, the wise are, according to Scripture. Matthew 25 and 1, it says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. So that wise in the Daniel is going to be the five wise virgins, which is uh, parabolic, all right, so, which is, you know, not it's not only just going to be five virgin females that receive salvation. This is spiritual for who? The wise what? Revelation 14 and 4. Uh, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high power, and to the Lamb. All right, so those wise that understand in Daniel and those five wise in the book of Matthew 25 is the elect the 144,000 that are going to receive salvation why because they get it all right and you heathens you know and the main the main enemy right now is vocab but we have many more y'all can't get it it doesn't matter if you spend the next uh if you spend every work every work hour of every working day of every work week if you literally just sit in a dungeon with a bible uh, uh a uh, zondervan a septuagint and a strongs and you just go over every single fucking letter you still you still won't get it you're still not gonna get it all right you just aren't gonna get it all right why because of this right here this wasn't given to non-believers to infidels this was only given to the faithful all right Let's see, let's get this. This is Revelation 3. Let me see. Con right here. This is going to be one of them out of Revelation. I'll start at... Uh, I'm going to go back and get that one in Matthew too, but I'll get this one in Revelation. This is Revelation 3. I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and will not, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father, and before his angels, all right, it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and he uh, and shutteth and that no and no man openeth, all right? So this tells you right here, this was the message given to the angel over the church of Philadelphia. It says, he that hath the key of David, that's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, he that openeth, no man shutteth, and shutteth, no man openeth. So Yahweh Shai has the key of David, has the, he basically, uh, because when you look at David, what's, what's that one scripture? The sure mercies of David. No matter what David did, he received mercy and salvation and was brought out of all trials and tribulations. That's what the elect is going to receive along with the Holy Spirit, the understanding. And who has Yahweh Shai given the keys of David to? Matthew chapter 16. I'm going to start at verse 18. It says, And I say unto thee, That thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevent, uh, prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So Yahweh Shai gave the keys to Peter, which was who? The head uh, apostle, all right? And, and, and who did, when Peter and all the disciples and apostles, who did they give 
Who did they do all that work for? Who did they do all that preaching for? The elect and the one third of the nation of Israel. All right. So that's who is going to receive the keys. And that dude who did this little clip, he, hey, he understands that there's a greater power above him that's working in the midst and that's controlling on this. And rather than to fight against it like a fool, he simply bowed down to it. And that's a hey, that's that's respectable. You know, honestly, that's that's what if all heathens were in their right mind. That's what they would do. They wouldn't continue to stand up and scoff against us and fight against us. They wouldn't disrespect us, act crazy to us. They'd be like, you know what, damn, y'all the children of Israel. The Bible is for y'all. We're going to step back. We're going to apologize. We're going to give you back your land, your lands, the riches. And we're going to, uh, y'all please pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to have mercy upon our souls and don't kill us. We'll, you know, we'll just go straight to the field. That's the proper spirit of a heathen. And that dude understood that. All right. It didn't it didn't say the keys of Amalek, the keys of Edom. All right. And nor were they given to Agag, nor were they given to who some of the prominent he uh, heathen leaders, uh, Nebuchadnezzar. They weren't given to Alexander the Greek. They weren't given to Julius Caesar. The keys of David, the keys of the kingdom were given to the Israelites. All right. Were given to the elect straight up and straight down. That's why only. The elect is going to receive it and understand it. That's why Yahweh himself would, would say, He that hath an ear, let him hear. If, if, if you can receive it. Because not everyone can receive it. Alright, let's get this. Ooh, another scripture. This is dealing with... Uh, now, this is dealing with a man who... And I believe I've heard uh, one of the apostles mention that this man... Most likely would have been one of uh, King David's, uh, one of King David's incarnation. Uh, and if I'm wrong, Salaki on that, but I believe I heard that. I can't remember the video, but this is Isaiah chapter 22 and 20. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will call my servant Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah. All right. And I, who is Eliakim? I believe was Eliakim one of the kings or he may have just been one of the higher ups. Let me double check. Okay, yeah, uh, Eliakim was, it says, uh, it says, was over, because there's several Eliakims, uh, but the Eliakim mentioned here in this scripture, it says he was over the household, all right, so he was one of the higher ups in Israel, uh, you know, right, hey, Dylan, that time when we was getting our asses whooped. All right, so it says uh, that I will call my servant Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, and I will clothe him with thy robe and strengthen him with thy girdle, and I will commit thy government into his hand, and he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. It says, And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so he shall open and none shall shut. He shall shut and none shall open. All right. Hey, what did the Lord say? He says, I'm going to be with him. I'm going to give him the knowledge, wisdom and understanding to lead y'all. All right. While y'all are there uh, in the captivity. All right. So that hey, once again, it is this the, this key of David is being kept within the house of David. It's being kept amongst Israel only. This kid didn't say this key is being handed out to uh, uh, to, to fucking. Uh, what's the asshole's name? That Moabite king. Um to Balak, all right, the key of David is only given to uh, to us, and since it's only given to us, only we can truly understand what's going on in the scriptures. You heathen just simply can't get it, all right? This truth has only been declared to the nation of Israel, simple as that, and specifically the elect. Another one, out of the Lord's mouth himself, Matthew 13, 11, it says, He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. All right, this, these are mysteries, and then not everyone can understand, nor receive, nor believe a mystery. It's said and pronounced like that for a reason. All right, and you heathens, you scoffers, y'all can't get it. This dude, then the dude who put the video up, he understood enough to realize that this is a mystery that he can't understand, so he's just going to pass it off to whom it belongs to, because the Bible belongs to the children of Israel, first and foremost. All right, straight, straight and damn skippy, and there's no way around it. Right here, and I, hey, I'll end it on this, Psalms 147 and 19, it says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, 
and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so this truth, the full understanding of the Bible can only be given to the Israelites specifically, even out of all of them, the elect and the one third of nation, uh, nation of Israel. All right, this, this isn't a hard, this ain't dodgeball. This isn't, bro, <laughs> the scriptures read plainly. It's just that you heathens, it, it simply isn't for you. It simply isn't for you. This A. Hey, that's why you had in the time of Daniel the writing on the wall they brought out Daniel to interpret it because only he could all right if the Heavenly Father was dealing with all these different groups of people the Bible would have played out in a whole different manner we in Genesis we'd have been reading about the Moabites we'd have been reading about Ishmael and his adventures and shit man we'd have been reading about uh, freaking uh we'd have been all up we'd have been reading about the the, the life of Pontius Pilate you know, the book of Pilate, you know, come on, it's, it's simple, you know, at least this dude had enough brains to leave it where it's at and to back off, all right, but you scoffers, you heathen scoffers in particular, you're going to learn the hard way, all right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakurash, of honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wakwathim, learning, teaching, and truth, and sincerity, and I'm going to say Shalom.